shop on Prince. I just thought I'd come on today and say hello to everyone and um, hope that everybody is staying safe and their families as well during this pandemic. Uh, a couple things I wanted to talk about today that have changed recently in the pharmacy world. Um, as of April 1st, um, some of the changes that uh, the Nova Scotia government has made in our new agreement is that pharmacists are no longer able to uh, complete what's called a continuation of care prescription. Um, you may have heard your pharmacist or pharmacy team use that term before and essentially what that was was a, a one month supply of medication to tide you over until you were able to get into your primary care uh, physician. Uh, what they've done instead is they are now allowing pharmacists to do prescription renewals. And a prescription renewal um, after having an assessment, so that's really one of the biggest changes between a continuation of care and a renewal is that uh, you now have to be assessed by the pharmacist and the pharmacist has to deem uh, whether or not a continuation of your therapy is appropriate. But we can do prescription renewals for up to six months supply of your medications. Now currently during this uh, pandemic, uh, pharmacies have been mandated across the country to only give a 30 day supply at a time of medication. And that's simply, um, Canada does not have a drug shortage at the moment, but we're trying to protect our drug supply because the unknown, of course, is how long um, we're going to be in this situation. So um, if a pharmacist deems it appropriate, we could essentially give you a one month supply with up to five refills, um, taking you to a total of six months before you'd have to get in to see a primary care physician. So I just wanted to um, encourage patients, if they're looking at their bottles and noticing that they don't have any refills or that their refills have expired, at this time we're encouraging you to call ahead um, we can do a lot of assessment over the phone, so rather than you coming into the pharmacy and us being sort of in, you know, really too close contact, um, we'd prefer that you phone first and we can uh, sort of go over what you might need. Um, yeah, and I mean, don't hesitate to give us a call and ask us any questions about that. So um, we also just want to make sure that uh, we're encouraging everyone to stay uh, safe and healthy. Um, wash your hands. Uh, maintain your social distancing, um, socialize via phone or text. It's really important to stay in contact with your family and friends and those that you love. I do want to sincerely thank all of our patients um, for their understanding during this time. Uh, we noticed the uh, sort of the changes that you've made to accommodate, accommodate us and protect our health and yours as well, and we really appreciate it. So thank you again for these, the understanding during these uncertain times and hopefully everybody stays safe and healthy.